How to make sea salt caramel lollipops. Let's see what's cooking. Let's get the facts. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo max 12. Hello everyone. Starting off with a medium sized saucepan, and in the saucepan you will place one cup of white granulated sugar. Add to that two tablespoons or an ounce of water a teaspoon of lemon juice, a teaspoon of sea salt, and a quarter cup of white or light colored corn syrup. The addition of the corn syrup will help keep it from crystallizing too quickly and will make the mixture smoother. Now stir this together over medium high heat until it starts to boil. Once this starts to boil, you're gonna add in one quarter cup or four tablespoons of butter, a little bit at a time. So what I did is I took some cold butter, cut it into cubes, and then I'm just adding a, one, one or two cubes at a time and stirring until the butter's melted. And I continue to add the butter until it was completely combined in there. And then you're gonna cook it on medium high, boiling it until it reaches 300 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the hard crack candy stage. And be careful when it starts to change color, that's when you know you're getting close to the correct temperature. And if you start getting some scorching, you may have to move it off the heat a little bit, but chances are it'll coincide almost exactly when it starts to get the caramel color as the time it'll be at the right temperature. Once it gets to be the right temperature, take it off the heat and stir in a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now you're gonna spoon your hot caramel mixture into some candy molds. These are special molds just for high temperature candy making. Do not use those clear plastic ones that you use for chocolate molding because they'll just melt, they'll lose their shape. Make sure you get the hard candy ones. I actually found mine online. So just you Google hard candy mold, you probably get quite a few buying options if you can't get them at your local hobby store. I grease these molds very lightly with a little bit of cooking spray prior to filling them in. I put in the candy sticks and when you're filling the mold, make sure that you cover the stick with caramel so that it's nicely put together. I did some heart molds. I did these happy face molds. These ones are probably a little bit too big for caramel because the caramel is a little bit, takes a little long time to eat compared to regular hard candy. I did some little round ones, which I think are the perfect size for this type of candy. Let them harden. And then, don't pull them out by the sticks. Flex the mold a little bit and they should just pop out quite nicely. Now, if you like, and I recommend it, sprinkle on just a little bit more sea salt on top of the lollipops when they're done. That salt will stick to them and you will have a really nice treat. Sweet and salty together is an amazing flavor. And these are absolutely delicious. They taste a lot like the Werther's Original Caramel Candies if you've ever had those. Now store these in between layers of plastic wrap and make sure that you lay them flat. Um, I found that if you stand them up oh, after two or three days, especially the large ones like these happy face ones, they will start to droop over a little bit because although the caramel is hard, it's not super hard and will bend with gravity over a couple of days. But I doubt that these will last this long because they're really good. I hope you give them a try. Now, if you don't have a hard candy mold or don't want to buy them or don't have the money to buy them, there is another way. And I've made lollipops without a mold in the past. So here's the video on your screen right now if you want to go take a look. This would work with the caramels as well, but the finish on your candy may not accept that extra little sprinkle of salt after because of the cornstarch. Go and check this out if you're interested. Thanks for watching.